Yeah, um, so I work in the student recruitment team as a widening participation development manager. Um, so that kind of has an external and internal slant on the role. So externally I liaise with other FE and HE colleges under the national networks for collaborative outreach. So I manage the relationships there and represent Edge Hill on those. Yeah, so basically the aim of the project sits within a wider programme of activity going on throughout this year. But this journal project in particular was looking at um, incoming first year students and monitoring them and tracking them through their first eight weeks of term. So the interactions, activities and um, processes they went through, regardless of what course they were on, um, and really trying to understand and interpret their emotional responses, their perceptions, their views, and ultimately their behaviours. Um, and a way to do that was through um, the VLE journal tool, um, a system that they were already being orientated on in their induction, um, so it helped kind of with the familiarisation there, um, but something that's also going to they're going to use for the next three four years that they're here. Um, so it was a way to kind of, kind of marry them both. I was just aware of the VLE as a whole, um, and that students used it on their modules um, that they could submit work on there, etc. But I didn't know which tools were available or how. I could use them. I think um, the fact that you could release um, the kind of topic each week at the same time, so not only the students knew when it, the new topic was coming out and they had a deadline to do the work by, um, and then, then the fact that I could close that as well. Um, and it helped with me obviously planning my work, knowing when students' work was going to come in. Um, and factoring that into my workload in terms of reading and obviously starting to write a report on the feedback that was gathered. Um, you know, I had to produce guidelines on the size of text I wanted them to write in because some were writing minuscule and some were huge. And um, also the length, the, the word count. So because we were um, remunerating students with payment for the project, we needed to ensure that we were getting the depth and quality of information, obviously, that the journal aims were for. Um, so, yeah, kind of a word count function would have been useful as well, but I don't know whether that was there or whether I just didn't utilise it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I had... The vast majority didn't have a problem at all with it. They just... Um, I gave a briefing session on how to use it, um, what they would need to do each week, um, time frames etc and for the vast majority who didn't have didn't really hear from them other than from the work for those that did have issues obviously my contact details are on there and they could contact me um, you know some just kind of forgot the deadline or were too late to submit and that was kind of a really good point of it the fact that you could see when students were logging on yeah i mean i think the students um liked the fact that when I updated something on the organisation, on the BLE, um, they got a notification straight away to their uh, university email address if, um, and, and a lot of them had downloaded the app onto their phone, again it came through there. So I think they liked the fact that they were in touch with the project as it developed and if there was anything that needed adjusting each time, um, they, they knew that straight away and they had time to factor it into the rest of their lives and, and being at university so um, they enjoyed they enjoyed that aspect and as well the fact that they could log on anytime anywhere and um, the fact it wasn't reliant on me being in the office and um, was something that the students appreciated I think. I used it because I knew it was something that was a system already set up across the university open to all students on any course um, something that they would be getting uh, introduced to anyway um, and it seemed sensible to use something that that's already there and um, they're already logging into they're already using the username passwords etc so yeah and it gave me it gave them an, an, an anonymity <laughs> from it so they were anonymous when they submitted um, and it gave me kind of control of, of seeing you know who was submitting and who wasn't um, and it was kind of exclusive to that group of students and not every single student in the university could see it.